14 day queen, does, she doesn't have her pheromone developed. You as a buyer, YouTube as a buyer, <laughs> you should be asking those that produce your queens, how many days? I will not sell you a queen if she not, has not been laying 21 days. I prefer to sell them at 24 days. For some folks, they may say, I never want to, I never want to build out a nuke yard and I just want to buy some great stock. So uh, James did this. He bought virgins from Corey. Corey's out in Missouri. Um, and, he, and he brought that in. We know that those queens should carry a lot of these BSH traits. Um, we're going to start selling virgins. Virgins is a whole new market um, for beekeeping. But it enables you to bring in um, outside stock and increase your genetic diversity as well. So some people it might just be easier to pay for rather than. Um, and, and for instance, like our queen, our mated queens this year will be sixty dollars, but our virgins are twenty five, sixty. Um, hear me out on this. <laughs> your your bee supply houses are going to charge you forty, forty five, and you don't know what you're getting. I can show you the research and I can show you the data driven. I can show you what we're doing and I can also tell you where we're going, what our aim is. Certain people want to take a risk and spend 60. <laughs> Let me explain why it's worth 60 real quick. Um, if I have a nuke and I can make three queens in a season, that is 60 times three is $180. Or I can make one queen and I can sell that nuke for $180. I can work three times as hard for the same result. Some folks sell queens wholesale like $25 a pop. I can make four in a season, I made $100, I work four times as hard and I made half the money. It monetarily doesn't, you're stealing the heart out of the watermelon. It doesn't monetarily make sense. The virgins option is nice at 25 because it's me as a producer asking you to share some risk with me. Yes, that virgin may not come back from her mating flight. That's a risk we run. Um, my That virgin may not carry the genetic that we were after. Not We're not guaranteeing everyone's gonna carry what we know is right now, uh, if you understand a shotgun pattern, and each year we're gonna dial it in a little better and a little better, and we're gonna test and test and retest, and we're gonna have college kids next year coming to because they like free labor you know um we're gonna try and aim this is the aim of my outfit and there's a number of us in, in our in our pool and here's the thing everybody else has failed for 30 years but this is what we know to be our best data at this snapshot in time and so we say share some risk on the virgins it's easier on the pocketbook and it's more likely um it, by the way they ship better as well um, a lot of, a lot of times, it, it's a modern day miracle that uh, 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 FedEx can overnight bees across the country. What they found is any variance in the heat, say in the airplane, can damage the sperm inside the queen. So the bee <clears throat> breeder sells you a queen and it was, she was laying beautifully and she might lay for a week or three months beautifully and then by the end of the year she's out of sperm. Why? She didn't start off out of sperm. The sperm gets damaged in transit. When we ship virgins, there's no sperm there to get damaged. That's the advantage of some. And then you're breeding that queen with your local drone population. This is where the club level breeding yard comes in. And each club can do it, or you can find somebody with 62 hives who, you know, hey, can, I'm gonna buy three virgins. Can I bring them out? Most people will just say, yeah, come on. Like, you, you know, it's just a matter of asking. Um, but that's the thought. <clears throat> I know I uh, talked a lot. Is there any other questions? Yeah, actually. Yeah. So people with maybe three queens yeah. and they get them $60 for one queen. What's the best way you do that, for example? That's a great question. So let's analyze what does a swarm do? Has everybody been to B class real quick? And am I okay on time to talk on this? Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. I really appreciate your patience. So his question was, what's the best way to requeen a hive? In mother nature, she gets skinny and stops laying for about a week. And then she flies off. And during that time, they've been making queen cells. And by day seven, there is no viable larva left to make a quality queen. And that's when the queen leaves. And the cells they made are the cells they made. And hopefully they made a good one. 
and the first one to emerge. So we want to recreate that same method. If I was, let's just say I had a handful of hives. If I was gonna requeen them, here's how I would do it. I would go into my hive and I would find the queen and I would put her in a cage. Um, and that cage can look like the metal push in wire on a, on a patch of brood or that queen can go in like the little plastic JZBZ cages, which is what we use. And because I run a 10 frame double D, the space between the two boxes is three quarters of an inch. And you just set your queen in there for one week. So the, the hive still thinks, oh, there's a queen pheromone here. They feed her through the cage, but she doesn't lay for a week. And by the time you're ready to pull the old queen out, there is not a viable egg larva in sight. They have no choice but to accept whatever you give them, whether that's a virgin or whether that's a mated queen from a bee supply house or something from any breed breed. Did, did everybody follow that math? So we wanna cage up the queen <clears throat> for one week and then go in and just, when you however you remove her, you could remove her and take a split um, but we want to make sure there's, they don't have a choice. And um, Corey Stevens calls that the, the Stevens Bico method because people weren't, that's the best way to get virgin acceptance. Um, what, what he was finding was if you take a split and you just, it's got, it's got a couple of eggs in a whole frame and you drop a virgin in there, they will kill that virgin because they want to make their own. When you take away their ability to make their own, they have no choice but to accept the version. Let's say you choose to take seven splits out of that big colony. Now you've got seven splits without, they're hopelessly queenless is what they call it. And they have no choice. So you buy seven virgins and drop in seven, or seven mated queens. They have no choice but to, and by the time they eat through that candy uh, that most people see mm. on a cage, then they've accepted that pheromone. Um, if it's a case of a virgin, they're not going to kill her because she's their only hope. Literally. I mean, what's their choice? Death or her? I'd like to, to accept. Now, a mated queen. Oh, let's talk about mated queens real fast. Some people sell mated queens on a two-week cycle because they can get more in a three-month season. They can get six cycles. <clears> if you sell <throat> it a 21-day queen, you can only get four queens out the door. So... Business model wise, it makes sense to sell six queens and not four queens. But a 14 day queen, does, she doesn't have her pheromone developed. You as a buyer, YouTube as a buyer, <laughs> you should be asking those that produce your queens how many days. I will not sell you a queen if she not, has not been laying 21 days. I prefer to sell them at 24 days. I want my kids to take over my beekeeping operation. It may not be there if we don't change something. I'm risking it all. My name's on the business. I argue with people on Facebook. Like, you know, um, it's, it's somebody's got to do something. Even if it doesn't work out, I'm going to be proud to say, this is what we tried. Here's the data we got out of it. And hopefully that gives us more information for the next step. The best part about everything I taught you tonight is nothing set in stone. Nothing's in concrete. It's just we know certain facts. If you build it, we should get these results. And then we will test those again and in five years. This may be, hey, this actually works. Or it might be, ooh, five years ago, this is where I screwed up. And we thought at this time, but now we know this is the answer. You know, we've got to try this. And it's got to be, I, I'm pitching this to every club at the club level, at the county level. If I ever get called to the state, I'll tell the state level. Like, this is what I think it, 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 based on all the research we know to be true. And everybody I talk to. So it's just like, I love going down the rabbit hole. It's not for everybody, I get it. Um, but that's what, that's my talk. So, Guys, I know it's getting late. I thank you all. I love talking bee stuff. Um, I thank you all for just listening. Thank you for uh, hanging around. Absolutely. Um, I hope you learned something. Thanks for having me. Uh,